Chapter 10, you've been through all that, you've done your best, well, what can happen next? In chapter nine, we discuss some of the excuses that you might get, but now let's talk about what is most likely to happen. The first thing is that they come back to you and they want more information. If they do that, it's a good sign. So don't get defensive. Answer calmly with patience as they may just be probing for more details so that they can reinforce the decision they're about to make in your favor anyway. So if they want more information, stay calm and give it to them. They may come back and counter offer you. Now, this is where knowing your range that we went through in chapter seven and chapter six is of the utmost importance. They may offer you the low end and while it may not be your skip out of the room, that was the best outcome possible, it may be something that you're actually happy with. So here's the question, they counter offer, should you negotiate? Well, yes, definitely. Thank them for sincerely considering your request and then repeat why you originally asked for the pay rise and reinforce the reasons that you think you deserve it. Maybe they'll give you that little extra something, but if you don't ask, you won't get. If they do turn around and they say no, get them to reconsider. You could try saying something like, I'd like to settle on something that makes us both happy as soon as possible. And then shut up and see what they say. Because what they're saying is no, and then what you're saying is no. So get them to reconsider. Here's an interesting one. Some bosses think the best way to handle a problem they don't want to handle is to ignore it. So they don't respond. Now, this is where it's, where it's important. You've got to follow up and set the agenda for what's going to happen next. There is a chance, of course, that they say no. You need to be prepared for this. As you've just seen in the last chapter, they can give you a variety of reasons and you've got to have the scenarios in your mind of how they're going to respond for that. A lot of bosses will just expect that once they say no, that's it. They won't expect pushback. And if you've got a really good reason why it should be reconsidered, have it ready to bring out on the table. No matter what happens, whether they say yes, whether they ask for more information, whether they offer a counter offer, whether they say no, you should be gracious. Now is not the time to throw your toys and spit the dummy and stomp out of the room. Because it's quite simple, no one likes a sore loser. It's okay? So, be gracious. And remember, a no, right, is still a positive outcome. If they do say no, you've stated your case. They know where you stand, and that will be remembered when it counts. Down the track, when the business may be doing better, when you've had another great quarter or another great half year of performance, they will remember the application that you made, and you might be pleasantly surprised. They might call you in and say, we really appreciate what you've done, and we're here, we're gonna give you a pay rise. If they do say no, set a date to start to ask again. Say, thank you, I appreciate your consideration, but I'll be back at Christmas. I'll be back at the end of the financial year. I'm gonna wait another six months and I'll come back and ask again. So they know you're not going away and that's important. When they do say no, right, this is the prime opportunity for you to ask, what else can I do? Get them to set a criteria or a benchmark or a goal for you to undertake so that you know when that's done, that's when you can come back and ask for a pay rise. So I, I wanna go back all the way to chapter one now, just for a moment and remind you that this is a business transaction. So whatever you do, don't take it personally. This is not a judgment of you personally. You are not your salary level. So it's only business, it's not personal. I have seen in the past when people haven't got the wage rise that they've requested or haven't got a wage rise, that the first thing they do is slack off. Don't slack off. This is a question of your personal pride and your professionalism. If you don't get the pay rise, don't slack off. If anything, 
It only reinforces to your boss that they actually made the right decision. Once again, no matter what the outcome is, make sure that you send a thank you note, all right? Common courtesy isn't that common anymore, and this will put you in good stead for the future. It will also remind your boss that you're grateful for the conversation that you had, and it shows them that you have follow through, and if it was a no, that there are no bad feelings. If this all goes badly, and it doesn't look good, only at this stage should you consider looking elsewhere. If the situation doesn't change, if they give you another goal to hit and you do it and they don't review your salary, then you really have to ask yourself, is your career best pursued with your current employer or should you consider other employment opportunities? So, if they do to agree to the wage rise, one of the most important things you've got to remember to do is get it in writing, okay? Make sure that it's documented so that you know how much it will be and what date it takes effect. And if there are any other changes, like change in title, change in holidays, that it's not just given to you verbally, that it is actually put in writing. And one final point that I just want to cover off is this. Hang in there. If you don't get what you want, right, but you do enjoy the environment, the work you do, the people that you work in, or the products or services that you provide or that you operate within, don't get, don't be a sore loser and don't say, right, that's it, I'm gonna leave. Hang in there, give it another three to six months, try your best, and then ask again. They know that you're serious and they know that you have done your homework and that you deserve a pay rise.